So P53 mutated AML as well as MDS, these are generally regarded as being these unequivocal poor risk disease subsets uh, for which the needle is not really moved um, in helping patients really achieve longer survival. We do have therapies which can improve the response rates, but there is a disconnect between improvement in response rates and, uh, and better survival, which is where a lot of these novel therapies have uh, really entered the space and for which we do have some encouraging data, um, including things like you know APR246 or some of the anti-CD47 or SERP alpha uh, therapies. Um, some of the most exciting is uh, that for magrolimab, which um, we're about to learn a little bit about the triplet therapy in combination with azacitine venetoclax from Naval Daver and colleagues. Um, exciting interim data that should hopefully prompt um, some future studies to, again, move the needle for these patients. Um, myself as well as Dr. Taha Bhattar from uh, Mayo and Jackson are going to present uh, our real-world analysis of, actually it's the largest one to date, of this specific, specific population of patients, at least in AML, um, about 400 patients. And as you can expect, the outcomes are exceedingly poor. And this really hasn't translated, uh, at least in incremental improvements in survival, over the last 10 years or so, um, which has really been um, a bit of a shock, especially since we have, we thought better therapies, but I think it just kind of corroborates the general understanding that this is a terrible risk disease.